From the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get a Life Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered, spilled all over, Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. The teams are juiced understand. up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. Green Washington Cadavers battle, the New York Threats. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Ghost <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon raving blood and red bull crab. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mom looks like a hot shady cream dispenser. First down and five. Oh my God! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind. It's two yard run before he stops. Second and three. First and ten. And this guy is super. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Hear what I'm saying? I understand it. When I'm mad, I do the most. I know I'm nice. I know I'm bad. I do not brag. I do not boast. Don't like my mouth. Don't like them broke. You got no Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And 
it'll be second and eight to go. Third down and nine. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And that punter gets paid way too much. To... And he snags the punt and looks for One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Third down and ten. And then oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies that... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front back, because that was splattering everywhere. Trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second and three. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really kick it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? right now what day is it now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven what and kick the kicker's job in half they get me called sinners then straight through the uprights the teams are lined up for the kickoff he sits up for the return let's see if he can break one wide open And 
it's first and ten. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like another big porter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and two. He's rumbling. Now the offense is getting kills. This is, oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and more than the QB would like. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a and he just and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and four. And that's another pick. And oh, pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Spike the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And he breaks away. Second down and long. He picks up a two. Third down and long. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. That ball just broke the sound barrier. No, thanks. He's leaving a wake of destruction. In his oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Oh, that's huge. Looks like the defense has it. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Punched his way out of that tackle. You ever get hit in the head with a photo, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And Chainsaw's really have a way of extending the red zone on the cover of that ball. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Boom! 
Stone Dead and Down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and six. like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third and two. Oh, look at this guy. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Nice punt! Should move them back, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawning. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. To the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, my. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. He just got crushed! Third down and six. Oh, 
great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. The kick is good. <gasps> As expected, something pretty huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, friends. Oh, boy, they're going. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and hitting for the end zone. First and eight to go. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna dance now. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And the bat gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. down and well good luck now here comes the punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five.
Third down and ten. Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a light. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. He refuses to go down. He can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. He was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! A new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. Defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Third down and nine. the end of the third quarter and look folks i'll be honest i don't see a chance in hell here it might be time to change the channel i think heidi's playing on superstation wkrp and it's first and ten and completions. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! And that'll be second and eight to go.
and they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called that rabbit sex. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense. Schmuck. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. I'm surprised no one uses the electric car. <laughs> Though. And that was a lot of money for an airbag then. Second down and a lot. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a first, but still a nice game. Third and four. Three potato four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. Second down in inches. And the QB might as well just penny put. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some... And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. <laughs> and that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third down, and the punter is warming up. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And there's another pick. 
Man, this quarterback must have learned. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. I'm not saying the rap has been bribed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. <laughs> Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. It appears that the last rep was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? First down and three. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like that's both burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, it anything really tastes good. Second down and two. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third and four. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kid was setting up an easy kill. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opponent. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast. He could go all the way. The threat win this one and walk off the field victorious. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacky, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Yep. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.